Alrighty, so we'll remove the cat anti-device from jumping into the box. We've got a couple things to do now, and I think we're gonna do this first. So now I haven't opened the box yet. The box is a little crunched. I got this um, Amazon. And, and I looked up what were the fastest four terabyte NVMEs available. And this is, this is one of them, the T700. Um, there is one that's faster. And I think that it costs even more. Uh, and this one was not cheap. So, anyway. You, sir, right. um, right you uh, And thanks for the, for thanks for the sub. I'll have to catch up on those when uh, we're in between episodes. I'm not set up to, uh, to do it while we're doing this type of content. But thank you, Roy. Um, so anyway, this is, a, this is a crucial T700. It's a Gen 5 NVMe, four terabyte. And I got off Amazon. If you're watching live, exclamation point computer. If you are watching on uh, YouTube, then uh, there's a link in the description. And that goes to my complete build. It's got everything on it. I did, I will mention right now that I did buy one of the items off of, uh, off of Newegg that was on the, uh, that's on the Amazon list, because you can get it from Amazon as well. It's just that, um, for some reason, so I pre-ordered the motherboard, and I don't know if they looked me up or if they were just feeling friendly or whatnot, they sent me 32 gigs of RAM at the fastest speed for the motherboard. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced that before. I sometimes wonder when companies do stuff like this of whether or not they've looked me up and they have me tagged as like an influencer or something. But anyway, they sent me this as a gift they didn't ask anything. They sent it as a separate thing. And, um, and it's, I don't know, it goes for over a hundred bucks. So, um, and, and the motherboard, you know, frankly was 600. So, um, you know, but I don't know, I don't know why they sent it to me, but they did. And <laughs> now the problem is though, that I've already got the RAM here. That's gonna fit in there. I got 128 gigs. They didn't know that and everything. They were being nice. So props to them for that. Um, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know what they were. I don't know what their goal was. But if this is something that they do regularly with people, then that's maybe a reason to to order some stuff from Newegg. Though I tend to do I tend to do Amazon. I've never I've never done a return with uh, Newegg before. I've bought a few things from them. But uh, with Amazon, they have not quibbled with me at all about anything that I've said. Uh, the last computer build I did, the it was an SSD that time. When I opened the box, it was empty. And so I'm like, well, holy cow, what am I gonna do? And I contacted them, I said, you know what? The box was sealed and empty. And they sent me another one right away. So, um, you know, good on them. This one is sealed and now it's not. Oh, it's so small. It's so tiny. Case here. Yeah, this thing is so small. Wow. All right. Um, since I, you know, don't want to screw anything up, there is a piece of paper in here. I'm going to look and see if it has instructions. Now, I pretty much think I know how to do this, but... Maybe it's going to tell me something different. Huh. A 
Okay. Let me let me let me say something. Yeah, I know there's a little bit of a sink. I, I, I haven't been able to solve it. And I don't do this very often, so I know that I know my audio is just out of sync by just a hair. Anyway. They give me this. There's nothing on this except for a URL. I'm not looking it up. Hey, okay, so. Right here, Gen 5 slot. Gen 5 memory. It is keyed. It has that notch in it there. And this has a notch in it right down there. So that's going to be the direction it's keyed. And then it's going to lock in to this one up here and not up there. And uh, so I have two Gen 5 slots in this. Uh, the other ones are Gen 4. And so here is uh, this, this here. Uh, don't make this mistake. That film needs to be taken off of there. You remove that film, you install this, you put it in there, you lock it in, and then we've got another one here. This, this one right here, that's the top of it. It also has a film on it and a heat sink. This is the non-heat sink version. You can buy heat sink versions, and then you can put them in here, and then you wouldn't put that other heat sink on. But in this case, this is, uh, this is how we are um, doing it. I'm going to use the heat sink that came with the um, motherboard. All right. Any light here? The heat sink is for mining in Eve. Right. It's so that I can overload the AI and um, and then um, so all right. Now I want to look at this closer here before I pull anything out. Let's see. Let's open this up. And this thing, this thing is small. It's so small. And it's four terabytes. Oh, maybe this is the correct way? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Yeah, it's just so small. Now, I don't want to get any oils on that. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna grab something for my hands. Just, uh, I'm not too worried about oils off my fingers for this, but given that that this, and, and I don't have any like latex gloves or anything like that, so, um, but given that this is going to rest up against this stuff for heat dissipation, I don't want to get it all full of uh, oils from my skin. So I'm going to be uh, pretty careful about that. And I'm not, I'm not going to be real anal about it, but I'm going to be careful about it. So, um, oh, you lived in Southern California from 75 to 2017, uh, New Egg, best place, yes. So, um, they, they merged with Egghead Software, and which came from Portland, which was where I was at. So, okay, now, There we go. That one is off. And then it's going to hold it at the edges here. You can see here, I don't know if you can see on camera, that it is just so damn small. All right, now I'm making sure that I'm going to notch it correctly. Mm. 
where's my other flashlight? Gotta get it to slide in there. in there and then I'm gonna put it down in there yeah it's 45 I knew it was a 45 degree angle slide in I just had to find the correct slot because the the wiring down in there it looks really fine and I wasn't able to tell it almost looked like I was supposed to slide it in between it and so just uh, just making sure here you know Oh, let's see here, if I can. God, I want to move this at the same time. There we go. Okay. Successfully placed. And... So some of them, so cheaper boards will have a screw right here. More expensive ones will have uh, some sort of a latch. And uh, so anyway, that is in there firmly now. And yeah, it's, it, it has no play in it whatsoever. And so now I've got this here, which is, uh, you know, a, a heat sink. And uh, it is double notched down here and it's going to go here and it's going to connect up there's a a little twist up here and so pull this off now there's some damage that happened to this, or maybe that's just the way way it is. Oh my God, the cat hairs. Damn cat. I mean, any of you who have pets, you know what this is, you know. Not surprising, huh? All right. Yeah, I pulled the film off. It's off, and So, oh, I can't quite reach that. There we go. I had to give it. I had to give it some, some good pressure down to get that snap on up in there. All right, that one is done. The uh, NVMe is installed. It's underneath here in the Gen 5 slot. Now, there's two Gen 5 slots I mentioned. Now, I don't know about whether or not the um, the the slots are the same as it is like with the video card bus and everything but theory is that you put the fastest stuff closest to the CPU and so CPU is right here and even though I have another gen 5 slot under here I I don't I'm not putting it under there I'm putting it here 
because this is closer to the CPU. Just like primary video card, the stronger video card is going to go in here and not in one of these lower ones. And that is because, like, I know for sure it's the same, it's, it is with this. This slot right here, this PCIe slot, has direct pipelines to the CPU. Whereas these two have direct pipelines to the chipset to the CPU. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a little bit different. And, um, you know, you want your fastest performance possible, right? Right. All right. We will uh, see you in the next video for another part of the install.